Good evening. The Cowan family spoke at the city council meeting tonight after city leaders shut down the haunted house. The family says the haunted house is all about supporting their terminally ill loved one, and they just wanted one more year. <laughs> Every Halloween season for the past nine years, the Caitlin Manor Haunted House in San Bernardino has become a staple, drawing big crowds. It's a labor of love from Augie and Maria Cowan, hosted at their house. And over the years, it's a big community event, and everybody loves it, and everybody, um, uh, a lot of the same people come to it every year. But besides the fun, there's a deeper meaning for the haunted house. The reason we have the haunted house is my daughter's got metachromatic leukodystrophy. So it's a terminal illness and we use it to, to help raise money for medical needs. Andrea is now in hospice care, not expected to live much longer. And this year was going to be the 10th and final scare. But unfortunately, the city wants to put a stop to it. They send uh, code enforcement and stuff there. Prompting the Cowans to show up at the San Bernardino City Council meeting Wednesday to plead with the council to allow their haunted house to stand for a final year. But before they spoke, San Bernardino City Council member Ben Reynoso apologized to the family for all of this, taking the blame for the closure. You're doing a great thing, and I hate that you have to be here. I want to apologize to everyone because I'm fully responsible for, the, for you all being here, for you losing sleep at night, for you worrying about this not happening anymore because I relayed the information. Reynoso says he contacted the police chief after getting complaints from neighbors about the crowds, noise, and a shooting that happened near the haunted house last year. All of that, on top of a permit issue, put a halt to the haunted house. Sadly, it's, it's from a lot of your immediate neighbors in the vicinity right there who complain about the crowds. One of those neighbors speaking at the meeting. I and the residents in the neighborhood have put up with the traffic, the noise, the trash, and last year attempted vehicle break-ins as well as shooting where fortunately no one was injured. But the Cowan family says they have more support than complaints from the community, and they're disappointed. It's just depressing that people could be so cruel. And um, some of the neighbors, they just judge. The city council member says the haunted house would most likely have to take place at a building and not their house anymore. But the family says they just don't believe they have enough time to try to work through all the permit issues or find a new location for the haunted house. So unfortunately, it does not appear that it will happen this year. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Fox 11 News. Either way, our thoughts are with that family. Coco, thanks so much.